Happy New Year, everyone. I can't believe we are already 17 days into the new year. I feel like this month has just totally flown by. Uh, how is everything going for you? How did last year go? I just wanted to do a check-in and share one of the things that I do to set up for my year. And I know this is, you know, I'm getting on the bandwagon kind of late here, but I have a reason why I haven't posted anything about this yet. So last year in this group, I had just done um, a post talking about how I select one year to defy my word. And this year, I thought it'd be nice to create a video to kind of give you more information about how that works. And, and so what I do is just pick one word to define my year. And this is something that my friends and I have been doing for over a decade now. And Emily, I can't remember what years we actually start in. Uh, so every year I pick a different word for the theme, the overarching goal that I have set for myself. And then I write down little wins that will help me to live my year with that word, with that purpose. And for 2020, I picked growth as my word. There were a number of areas I wanted to grow in as a mom, as a yoga teacher, uh, growth within this group, growth within the community. And while the year took an abrupt detour from my initial intention, I still feel like I grew in unexpected areas. For one, I grew a garden. I actually grew food. Who would have thought that I could actually keep plants alive? Because that has always been a challenge for me. I grew chard, eggplant, peppers, cantaloupe, kale, and that was a huge win for me. And so that was my word last year. And to give you an idea of uh, some other words I've used, I've used contentment, I've used um, read, because one year I wanted to read at least one book every month. And I think by the end of the year I had read 10 books, not 12, but I, you know, I feel like I had done pretty good with that word. So, you know, you, you just, again, you just pick that one word that is going to help bring purpose to your year so that by the end of the year, you can look at it overall to see how you were able to fulfill that. And so what I do at the end of the year, uh, one of my rituals on New Year's Eve is to sit down and do a meditation. And my meditation is actually revisiting each month of the year to identify what I am grateful for and how my word of the year played into that month. And let me tell you, some of those months were really, really hard to try to come up with how I was able to bring my word into that month and what I was grateful for. And what I found was that even when I could identify something that I was grateful for and how my word played into that month, I had a butt clause. You know, uh, yes, I grew a garden, but it was exhausting and this happened and that happened. And I kept coming up with all of these like negative things that were attached to that gratefulness. And so I said, you know, I don't want to have this mindset going into 2021. And I was thinking long and hard, what do I really want my word to be of 2021? And so it's taken me some time because I really wanted to make sure that I picked a word that was going to be purposeful. And so I have decided my word for 2021 is going to be celebrate. I want to change the perspective I had from the last year. I don't want to have that mindset carry with me into the new year where I have this butt clause for everything that I'm grateful for. I want to be able to celebrate the small wins, like when my toddlers can go a full hour without a sibling battle, or overcoming certain fears where I have created these labels for myself that it's too hard to do, or I'm worried about what other people are gonna think. I just wanna be able to charge forward and celebrate, and if I fail, you know what, at least I tried, and to celebrate those failures as well. So now my question is to you, what is your word of 2021? Perhaps lose that long list of all the changes you want to make for this year, and instead just pick one word. What is the one word that can help define all of those little things you have set for yourself to accomplish this year? Now, this process of just provide, or just picking one word really provides clarity by taking all of your big plans for life change and narrowing them down to a single focus, just one word that centers around your character and create a vision for your future. So I love to hear what the, that one word is you have identified, share it with a group, and I'll be sending out periodic posts just to check in. If you choose to participate, great. We'll just kind of have 
the, this one post be like our accountability check-in for one another to make sure that we are living our year with our purpose, with our word. So again, I look forward to seeing what you come up with and feel free to ask any questions. Until next time, take care.